at one level, I think hearing you, looking at your vision, looking at the work, tremendous work you've done, um, there, there, you clearly know a lot. But I think what's unique about you is that you're also rooted in the not knowing. Uh, I remember this quote I read in one of your books, Andrew Culliver's poem. You say, you know, every day I'm astonished by, by how little I know and discouraged and obedient I am to the demand to know more. And that's the beginning of the poem. And But the end of the poem, it says, and it is then that I notice that the invitation didn't say come armed with knowledge and a loud voice. It only said come. Um, and I, I find that to be very intriguing that there is this quest to know more, to understand, to grow, uh, and to honor uh, the capacities of our head. But then there is this surrender and humility. Um, and, and you have had so many experiences. You know, I think uh, a part of your upbringing was in Pune, and you would talk to the construction women workers. Um, and you know, you were for hours, and, and that informed your worldview. At that time, you didn't know you were going to be leading hundreds of thousands of people doing rural development uh, uh, for a state or the country, right? But at the same time, you had that in you that, oh, what can I learn from them? Um, and, and so I, I'm wondering, how do you straddle this, um, this edge between knowing quest to learn more, having confidence, uh, having conviction, and at the same time, being uh, curious, being open, being surrendering to the sort of not knowing, like how, how, how do you hold these things together and how is it informed perhaps, perhaps even an example of what you learned from uh, the construction women worker in, in Pune growing up? Um, so, so possibly, I don't know, I think all of us, anyone who, I think each one of us, uh, uh, we do realize, the, and, and I think as somebody said, the more a tree is laden, the more uh, it real, it's, it's kind of, it bends down. I think uh, then there's also this curve. I forget uh, the name of that curve. There's one that when you, when you know very little, you probably feel a little um, uh, slightly overconfident. You, you feel you know everything, but then it, it's, uh, but, it, but, but as you start delving deeper into it, you realize, but I think, so I think this is nothing special of me. I, I think it's a, a common trait of almost all of us, many of us. But one thing I realized probably Nipun is also that um, the fact that I've been trained in certain uh, other dimensions as well. For example, recently, my brother, who's also an amazing, uh, you know, he, he uh, graduated from IIT Madras and went on to work in, in the Silicon Valley for many years with Cisco. But then he's also... Uh, parallelly over all these years been an amazing percussion player, a Bradangam player, and he has a school there with nearly 800. He's trained uh, nearly a thousand kids, uh, which, which is a great service that he's also doing. And uh, so one of the things that he said really struck me and made me realize uh, he was recently giving a workshop here. And when he said that as an artist, uh, and that too, if you're a performer, you go to perform and you don't know on that day, your throat may not be okay. You know, it's, it's something you spontaneously create. And, and I think that vulnerability is something that uh, we have to accept. If, if we pretend to be, uh, you know, absolutely smug, knowing everything, um, I, I don't think a lot of these things, including the work that you do, there's so many things that you really do not know. You don't even know uh, what, what are the different points of view? You straddle so many things. You may have an idea. It's not a very mathematical, even mathematics sometimes is not, uh, there are, there's, you know, there are possibilities, probabilities, all of it. Choice points, chance points, and so on. But, but uh, so, so it's, it's not uh, a very, uh, you know, cut and dry logical thing that I put two and two together and you are going to get a four. Because even when you work in public policy, you may want to set out with a policy for building and other construction workers, for example. But then when you have the stakeholder needs and so on, you realize there are so many um, stakeholders pulling in different directions, not in a bad way, not in, in their agenda. But it's just that there are different people that you have to straddle and find that eventually that acceptable thing where you are much better off than where you started. But nevertheless, you may not really get that perfect utopian uh, ideal 